Treasure is not always buried. In fact, it may be in your living room. Some neglected items are found to be expensive artifacts and make the unexpecting owners instantly rich. If only we could all be that lucky. Stay tuned until the end to see what treasure was found inside of a box of Q-tips. Don't give up hope. Like this video and subscribe to The Richest for more intriguing content. Now, here are everyday people that randomly found valuable items. Do you want to be a DIY expert? Check out our friends at Crafty Hackers. They have the best hacks, crafts, and everything DIY. Watch their videos for the best household tricks, DIY decor, and fun recipes. If you love making crafts with your friends or just trying new things, they have everything you're looking for. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any awesome hacks and crafts. Residents of Yakutsk, Russia in March 2018, the door of a cargo plane carrying $156 million worth of gold broke open after takeoff. 172 bars were dropped on the city of Yakutsk, Russia. To be fair, gold was only part of the bar's composition, being a gold-silver alloy called Doré. The drop zone was cordoned off and the Russian government reported that all the Doré had been accounted for. But a second notice stated that any person found in possession of a bar would be severely punished. That person, if he or she exists, would be practically a millionaire. Carl Kissner in 2012, an Ohio man named Carl Kissner was cleaning out his late grandfather's attic when he came across contemporary American treasure. A cardboard box was found to contain a collection of baseball cards that were part of the 1910 E98 series sold with caramel candies. Ty Cobb and Cy Young were some of the notable faces unearthed from the box, as well as Honus Wagner, whose card was in perfect condition. According to memorabilia expert Chris Ivey, this was the most significant find in the history of the hobby. The cards were sold at an auction for over half a million dollars which was split up among the family. Stuart Little Set Designer Needing cheap but elegant art for the main character's home, a set designer for the movie Stuart Little bought an unnamed painting from a Pasadena antique shop for $500. Over 10 years later, Jergeli Barki, a Hungarian art historian, was watching the film with his daughter when something in the background made him gasp. He identified the painting as The Sleeping Lady with Black Vaz by renowned artist Robert Barony. It had been lost since 1928. Barki contacted the set designer, who then sold the painting at an auction for $285,700. Khalid Al Sanani in 2016, a fisherman from the Middle Eastern country Oman found a stinky, lumpy substance floating on the ocean surface. Fascinated by the strong odor, he hauled the 130-pound mass into his boat, which turned out to be whale vomit. More precisely, the substance is called ambergris, which is created in sperm whale intestines to protect the animal's digestive system from sharp material. Additionally, ambergris is a vital ingredient in perfume, and even a small amount is insanely valuable. Al Sanani sold the revolting pile for an estimated $3 million. David Gonzalez Action Comics No. 1 is the most valuable comic book in the world. The 1938 issue features the debut of Superman and has sold for as much as $3.2 million. In 2013, a building contractor named David Gonzalez was renovating a house in Elbow Lake, Minnesota when he came upon a shocking find. Crumpled up as wall insulation among old newspapers was Action Comics No. 1. Gonzalez had bought the house for $10,000, so every part of the 1938 home was his property. Though graded just a one point. 5 out of 10 in quality, the comic book insulation sold for $175,000. Loren Kreitzer A dirty, discarded blanket netted Loren Kreitzer $1.5 million at a 2017 auction. The unemployed man was living in a shack on disability checks when he discovered what had been lying in his closet for seven years was an authentic Navajo chief's blanket made in the mid-1800s. It had belonged to his grandmother, but was left to the family after her passing. Kreitzer took it when he discovered that nobody else in his family would. The auction appraiser said that the blanket was in unbelievable condition, despite the fact that Kreitzer's grandma once laid it under her cat while it was giving birth. Mary Hannaby how many people bought a metal detector hoping to find buried treasure? A lot. And how many people struck out? Everyone, except for Mary Hannaby. The British woman went for a walk with her metal detector when frantic beeps alerted her to the presence of something metallic. She dug at the spot and uncovered a gold pendant depicting the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Taking the treasure to an auction house, the experts informed Hannaby that the pendant was one of only three of the same kind known to exist. She went on to sell her find for approximately $60,000. Pennsylvania Shopper 
In 1989, an unnamed man bought a painting from an Adamstown, Pennsylvania flea market for $4. He only really wanted the frame, but when he got home, he removed the conventional country print and found something underneath. It was an original 1776 copy of the Declaration of Independence, one of 24 in existence and one of three in private possession. The random flea market purchase netted the owner $2.4 million at New York Sotheby's auction house. John Weber John Weber had been given a strange-looking cup by his grandmother in 1945. Weber didn't think much of the cup, electing to use it as a target for his pellet gun before retiring it to a shoebox under his bed. That's where it stayed until 2008, when Weber decided to have the cup appraised. He discovered that the cup was an ancient Persian artifact, forged in pure gold nearly 2,400 years ago, long before the biblical Jesus walked the earth. Even with the pellet dents, the cup made Weber $100,000 richer. Loretta Sims in January 2018, a Canadian woman named Loretta Sims bought a box of Q-tips for 50 cents from a British Columbian thrift store. Upon arriving home, she opened the package and was amazed to find eight gold, jewel-encrusted rings along with a pearl necklace sitting among the cotton swabs. After contacting the thrift store, Sims learned that the Q-tips were donated by a man as part of his deceased sister's estate. Either unaware of or the mastermind behind the hidden treasure, the man had fled the country without a trace, leaving Sims as the sole owner of the valuable jewelry. We don't don't know exactly how valuable because Sims donated the items to charity, stating that the rings were too big for her anyway. That's all for everyday people that randomly found valuable items. Have you ever found something worth a lot of money? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.